Hello again, it is I, Derek from Tomcat Gas Training, and welcome to this video on the changes that gas engineers are going to be facing in regulations in 2022. But as usual, before we get into this video and you're new to the channel, please could you take some time to subscribe because it helps the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you when we're uploading videos. It has been Sundays for a while now. And uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Anyway, let's stop waffling and messing around and let's get on with it and find out exactly what these changes are going to be in 2022. Now, first one we're going to be looking at is the changes in ERP, or energy rated products. Now, from September the 26th, 2015, all white good appliances had to display a label which showed the energy rating of the product and this also included boilers now the main changes that that brought were gas engineers were responsible for creating the label own up how many of you actually bothered to do that and the other main difference was the pumps inside the boiler became energy efficient so the bigger the pressure in the system the boiler slowed down so if you've got thermostatic radiator valves on your system they all started to close down then the pump starts to ramp down and doesn't spin around at full speed so it's saving energy so they say then on the 6th of april 2018 the government changed the erp legislation and brought in Boiler Plus, which meant the boilers had to be over 92% efficient. And if it was a combi boiler, we had to put a time clock and thermostat in. And the thermostat either had to be smart controls or load compensation, or we could put weather comp in, or we could even have flue gas heat recovery to comply with Boiler Plus. Now, from the 1st of January 2022, we won't be able to buy replacement non-efficient pumps. And I can see that's going to start causing a few problems in our old boilers. Are we going to be able to buy a replacement pump for that boiler after the 1st of January 2022? Hopefully, the manufacturers will make pumps to replace the non-energy pumps in the boilers but i think that's going to be pretty hard for these non-condensing boilers so we've still got quite a lot of non-condensing boilers out there in the uk market and can we find a pump to replace it well according to some of the manufacturers we will be now then grumfoss so i've got a grumfoss pump here say they've got an app which has been out for quite a while now called Grumfoss Replace, where you can actually scan the picture of the front of the pump and it will actually tell you what a replacement one is. Shall we have a go? So, first of all, what we need to do is click on the app and it comes up now with the camera on your phone. So we need to place the pump in front, press the button in the middle and it now gives us the product number so it says it's 96288955 is that right so if we look on the p slash n number yeah that's correct on this pump so we press next and it then says this is the product number registered does it look right yeah it does so we click on that and it's come up with a replacement pump of a up 5315 slash 50 or 65 130 so it actually gives us a replacement pump for this one. Now, what we can also do is create a report. So click on create report and it says save report, give a replacement report name and save it to for later use. We'll just skip that. And then it says install information. So it gives me all my information there. We can press next. And it then says so I can sign for it. So just do a little squiggle and press next. And then it's create a report. It then says we can share it. So click on to share. I can now email it to myself. There we go. And I can click on to my email, send it to my email. So I can come out of that, go on to my emails, click on my emails and 
tap to download and there's a report once you've opened the PDF it's as simple as that now then I think I've tried it on about five or six different boilers here in the center with Grumfoss pumps in and it keeps coming up with no replacement pump Hmm. Now I do believe some of the manufacturers of the boilers will be able to get in touch with them and they'll tell us a replacement and you'll get the replacement pump and any other bits what needs to be replaced on the boiler to be able to replace it. But I can't see it being on a standard efficiency boiler being it, they're going to be doing a pump for them. So that means when the pump goes we're going to be scrapping boilers? Well possibly. Anyway, that's about as much news as I know. It's coming in on the 1st of January 2022 and we won't be able to buy non-efficient pumps. Hopefully that doesn't cause us too many problems then. Now also in 2022 we're going to have some big changes in the British standards and the building regulations. Now in a couple of videos now I've spoke about the changes to part L of the building regs where we're going to actually be incorporating BS 7593 into part L. So it's basically going to say we're going to need to put filters and clean systems and inhibitor and all the rest of it. We're also going to have some changes to part F in the building regs. F is for ventilation. So for you guys doing training, the easiest way to remember which is the building regulation for ventilation is F for ventilation. Trust me, it works. And there's also going to be some big changes to document J because of carbon monoxide alarms. So there's going to be some amendments to the smoke and carbon monoxide alarm regulation 2015. Where basically what they're going to say is whether you're in social housing or whether you're in private rented accommodation, we're going to have to have a smoke alarm in every room which can be partially or fully lived in. So that's going to be the first one. Now with the changes to part J of the building regs, they're going to bring the smoke alarm and um, CO alarm regulations in line with that. So basically what they're saying is if you've got a fixed combustion appliance in a room, you're going to require a CO alarm in that room unless it's a cooker cookers are being exempt from that. I'll talk about that in a minute. So quite significant change is going to go on there in the regulations. Uh, quite a few of the British standards are going to be changing anyway. So uh, hopefully I'll do some future videos on those changes soon. So why are cookers exempt? Well, the main problem with cookers is the amount of CO they can produce in the first 20 minutes. They can produce up to 90 parts per million of CO, which is going to set off some carbon monoxide alarms because they set off at 30. So they're saying now, if you've got any fixed combustion appliance in a living room or bedroom or whatever, you're going to have to have a carbon monoxide alarm, obviously, except the cooker in the kitchen. So let's just recap those changes. So smoke alarms will be mandatory in all rented accommodation. Why not private as well? Why not fully cover the board? Why is it only rented houses? Anyway, carbon monoxide alarms will be required where every fixed combustion appliance is installed, obviously, except the cookers. And also, if you install a new appliance now, and uh, which wasn't there before in a rented accommodation, you will need to install a new carbon monoxide alarm. So that's a new one for gas engineers and landlords. And also, they're going to put across that landlords will be responsible for these alarms. So hopefully they're going to be fixed and wired because if they were battery operated, the tenants will be nicking the batteries. And then what they're going to do, go to the landlord and ask for new batteries. So but if they're hardwired, then this won't happen, will it? So that's the major changes to part J and the smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarm regulations 2015. These regulations could change again before they actually do come out. I don't think the one what's coming out on the 1st of January is going to change, but there you go. But they could do, they could change, so keep an eye out for those because we know our regulations can change on a daily basis at the moment. Anyway, let's finish off with the topic of will gas boilers be banned in 2025? No, they won't. And they won't even be banned for new builds neither. The ban on gas boilers in new builds now is, is anticipated to be moved to 2035. 
But hydrogen gas boilers could also be included in that and uh, by 2035 they could be being installed in new builds. But all boilers from 2026 will have to be hydrogen ready to be able to be sold in the UK. So all you people out there who are saying gas boilers are going to be banned, probably eventually they may be, but I pretty much doubt it. So if you've liked this video, why don't you give us that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe because it helps. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you when I'm uploading videos. Anyway, all I've got left to say is thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.